first badminton of 2023, but <coughs> more importantly, first badminton post COVID. <laughs> Hey guys, Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and you will have good badminton luck the whole year. It's true, it's true. So you have probably heard of all about China and how, you know, China had the zero COVID policy and a lot of lockdowns and quarantines and all that. And about uh, three weeks ago, I guess now, totally ended overnight. <laughs> Every policy was ended. COVID tore through the country, you know, three weeks later. Most, I think all the major cities are past the peak. I'm an active person. I go outside a lot. So sure enough, um, right around Christmas, I got COVID. You can probably still hear it in my voice a little. I got it really mild. Don't worry. Um, Aja also got it very mild. He, he, he barely had a cough or anything, but we didn't have any fevers, chills, none of that. I was like, had muscle weakness for a day and that was it. And the stupid cough. So it's annoying, but actually um, between COVID and today, Aja and I went to Shanghai for New Year's. So it's not like I'm just recovered. Like it's not like I'm just getting out of bed today and, and going to badminton. We have been out and about. We went to Shanghai Disney. We went to a bunch of Christmas markets in Shanghai and it was really fun, but we are now back and we are now playing badminton. The thing is because everybody got COVID or was worried about getting COVID, um, badminton stopped for a couple weeks. <laughs> there was, I mean, the courts were open, everything was open. Anyone could go, but people were either sick and didn't go or, um, were afraid to be sick and didn't go. So the courts and the groups have just been so, so empty. But today about 30 people have signed up. So that's how you can tell we're over the hump. <laughs> COVID's done with here in Shaman. Time to get back to badminton. We'll see. I've had maybe two weeks off. So let's see how we do today. And let's see if anyone else shows up because there's like literally one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> There's five of us. Okay, first game of 2023. We didn't plan it. We don't have a ton of energy, that's for sure. We actually play these two a lot. They were in the same club <coughs> that I would call Aj's club. So we've been playing with them for years and it's really funny. You know, they always beat us. They're better than us. But um, on the rare occasion that we do win, Yingzu, the woman, um, I like her a lot. She is so competitive. She can't handle if Aja and I win. So if we ever win, or if like that first game was like 24, 22, 
she makes this play immediately. And you know, like I've been sick, like my genetic disorder sick for years. So um, sometimes I didn't have strength to play a second game. So if we refused a second game, the next time we would see her, she would be like, play, play, play. And she would insist on playing with us until she won by a large margin. <laughs> but this is really like the first time that um, this club has gotten together with so many people and it's the first time we've seen each other since um, not that they care about Christmas it's not a holiday here but you know since the new year and everything so everyone's in a really good mood and we're all giggly and just having fun but I am gonna take it a little easy today not play 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 Nobody cares if you wear masks in China. Wear it if you want or wear it if you want. Up to you. So the holidays are over and COVID is over, but you still have a problem. Western holidays are over, but the Chinese holidays are just beginning. And in a few weeks, it's the big granddaddy holiday of them all, Spring Festival, AKA Chinese New Year's, but it is not just a one day holiday, it is a, a week long holiday. So everything shuts down, you probably heard, largest human migration in the world. Now, since China is totally open and travel is free and easy, you know, everyone's going back to their hometowns and it's the quietest time of the year to play badminton. <coughs> it's not like badminton's gearing up, badminton is actually slowing down. People are still at work now, but soon, they will be heading back to their hometown to celebrate Spring Festival. Our badminton schedule for the next like three weeks is gonna be kind of totally like, like sui bien, like totally casual, totally up to us. I'm not working anymore. So our schedule is usually dictated by my class schedule, but now I can play any day. So now we're just kind of like, you wanna play? Where do you wanna play? What day should we play? And. And I kind of hate not having a like a firm schedule, like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you know. Two, three weeks is kind of going to suck for badminton, for us and badminton. But before it gets totally quiet, there should be a few spring festival parties with badminton courts. Hopefully there'll be some parties on this vlog soon, hopefully. Oh. <coughs> well, we just played a few more games. I didn't film it. I should have though, because I don't think I have a lot of games left in me. Don't have a ton of energy. Apparently, in Shanghai, um, some people died after having COVID and then playing too soon. They have like heart attacks or something. So the Shanghai, according to my friends, the Shanghai badminton community is slower to come back because <laughs> they had some deaths. So, so I'm gonna take it easy today. back there playing with another woman. He's just so excited to be like playing again. We haven't played badminton since before Christmas. So like 10 days, at least 10 days. He plays badminton, basketball, baseball every week. He plays sports almost every day. So he's been going crazy not playing sports for like 10 days. He's just so excited to be running around again. But here's the thing though. I was also excited to play today. You know, I've said before, like, I'm not a sports person. I hated working out. I've never enjoyed sports in my life until at age 40, I discovered badminton. And normally, you know, if I'm a little under the weather or there's problems, like, that's an easy excuse to not play a sport, to not work out, to not do exercise. Um, I didn't even want to use that excuse because I've gotten to the point where weirdly exercise and like getting my heart rate up and, and sweating like actually makes me feel better. Like it feels like it moves like the illness, like colds and stuff out of my body quicker. 
So um, that's a big change for me, a big surprise in my feelings. I haven't been filming any of it, but we've been playing a lot of games. Winning some, <coughs> losing some. I don't feel any worse than when I started. Possibly might feel a little bit better, a little bit more energetic. It's playing some tough games, but it's been two hours now, so I think it's time to head home. Normally, you know, New Year 2023, I'd set some goals and some hopes and whatever, but you know that, you know, since I've been sick, I've kind of given up on goals because I can't control my health, my, not COVID, my genetic health disorder. Um, so I can't control my health and I don't know what's going to happen to my body in the next year. So I can't set any goals because I can't uh, reliably do any of them. My wish for 2023 is just that I play a lot of badminton, have a lot of fun, play some great games, hopefully win more than I lose, but I don't even pay attention to that really. And if you have a special goal or something, definitely write it in the comments below and share it with everybody. But uh, you know, my wish for me is also my wish for you in 2023 and wherever you are around the world, you know, stay safe, keep playing badminton and I'll see you guys next time on the court. Bye.